How did you first uh, hear about Jackass and that that we wanted to film with you? Oh, dude, that was a story. I'm, I'm at the Native Village, and they go, "Man, these Jackass guys—they're really bad. I mean, they're really like stupid guys. They do a lot of stupid things, and they're looking for you. They want you to be on their show, and they got like they were saying." Some people are saying, I really don't recommend it. You know, I might ruin your reputation. <laughs> I kept hearing, but it's jackass guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're really crazy. They said you guys were dumb and crazy and did a lot of dumb things. Okay. Once, then when I met up with you guys, finally, I started to get catch on to what's really going on. Steve was going to get ran over by an airboat. And I told him, well, you got to duck real low. So, you know, get real low. So when airboat comes over, he doesn't hit you. And then I realized that Steve got his head up high enough so the airboat would hit it, hit him in the head. So I said, man, <laughs> I'm starting to figure out <laughs> the idea is to get the airboat to run over him. <laughs> not, not to avoid the problem. And then Noxo comes over there and uh, he wants to get bit by a rattlesnake. rattlesnake. <laughs> and he wants to get bit by a rattlesnake. And I go, he thought, well, you know, just you know, take me to the hospital, give me an anti anti venom, and we're good. Let's go to the bar tonight. And I said, no, dude, that thing bites you. You might have your arm amputated, kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to get bit by an eastern diamondback rattlesnake about that big around. So I said, well, that was insane. And the next thing you know, Steve was going to put a worm up his nose. What do you think about this? I think it's a bad idea. Maybe you should clean the worm because there's a lot of, you know, diseases in the dirt and everything. You know, we don't want to get Steve sick. It's not a good idea. And then, and then uh, Tremaine goes, nah, he'll put up his nose. Dirt and all. <laughs> I came out to Scott's worm going through in his, up his nose and out his mouth like that, you know, the worm. But by the time I was just cracking up, you know, it's just like too much. You know? <laughs> that, was, that, that was the first day that we've ever filmed with Manny. And I'll never forget it. We met, it was a place in the Everglades where we filmed all that, yeah? yeah. And, and so it was this Everglades, like, special, like, tourism park. And, and and we're in the parking lot, you know, I'll just we just arrived, getting ready to set up. Manny's standing there, Knoxville's standing there. Off in the distance, this family notices us. You can see they're very excited and they come walking over and they I think they're gonna freak out. I think they're freaking out over Knoxville. They walk right past Knoxville, straight to Manny. Manny, oh it's so great to can't even believe it. And I'm thinking, man. Like Knoxville was all prepared to be the big the big deal. They walked right past me. It was so funny. And uh they were all excited to see Manny. I thought, man, Manny's a really big deal. The, 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 this is this is great. And and I found out later that that because we had filmed with sharks on the first season and I got bitten and the people that took us filming with those nurse sharks were super upset and it was just like we get we need someone who's crazy to film with. And they, they saw you on Animal Planet. And the way they described it, they said, here we see this guy on Animal Planet, Manny, and he's lifting alligators out of the water, like swimming with alligators at night, riding sharks all over the place. But the fact that he was doing all of that while wearing a Speedo. <laughs> That's your guy. That's <laughs> The speedo. <laughs> they said the speedo got you the job. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, after that, it was just like, uh, I don't know, you guys took me to your family, you know? Big time. Manny, how long were you doing Jackass before it became Wild Boys? Like, did, did you come on during the TV show yeah. or during the movies? The TV show? I came on during the TV show and then during the movie. And then once Wild Boys came on, they had me on all the time. Yeah. Uh, basically, I got more exposure from Wild Boys than anything I've ever done in my life. Let's put it this way. Super so, cool. Uh, the key for me right there. Yeah, and wild. like people going wild for you at Steve's show and... Danny or Donnie or whatever, yeah. do, does that happen to you often? Like if you go to the grocery store, or do, does it, do you get recognized oh, yeah. often still to this day? Yeah, yeah, I still get people <laughs> you know, here and there, but especially when you get, you know, the right crowd, you know. Sure. I, I mean, I did uh, Shark Week, eh, I did Animal Planet, a bunch of episodes, I did uh, Outdoor Channel and everything, but the Wild Boys was the biggest exposure. Like uh, 80, 90% of people come up to me is because I saw the Wild Boys. It's called Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. And if you go on Amazon and type in Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole and order yourself a bottle, you'd be really helping me. Because right now we're ranked number 30 on all of Amazon. And if you buy a bottle, we might go up the ladder. And that would mean a lot. So please get on Amazon and buy Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, dude.